Domestic football was suspended on the 14th of March, and the GFA took a stern approach to government's advice, closed up shop and had all employees working from home. As more restrictions were put in place, the Gibraltar Football Association have been focusing their efforts in providing support to those in the community that need it most. Their campaign includes donating £5,000 to the GHA to purchase extra personal protective equipment, donating iPads to hospital wards and assisting Gibsams in raising awareness. It's been a collaborative effort amongst all involved, allowing the GFA to deliver on the commitments promptly. An area the GFA are also keen to explore is education, as FA General Secretary Ivan Rova explained. What we have been thinking is how to help to keep um, the, peop the, the kids in school entertained um, and busy. So uh, we are devising some activities, trying to relate them to football from, uh, you know, some coaching videos or skills to do at home, uh, all the way to some mathematical puzzles or quizzes. Um, some board games that involves counting and, and answering some questions. So there are several ideas that we are currently exploring and uh, we will be developing these over the next uh, week or so. So um, we will continue working with them uh, in this regard. Football is the biggest sport in the world. Both FIFA and UEFA look to create a positive social impact through the sport. And in these unprecedented times, setting the right example is key. Mr. Roba believes that the GFA have a social responsibility to the community and are therefore making every effort to show the solidarity and convey the right message to the public. I think the message that we have wanted to convey to the people we've been talking to is that uh, we are here to support. Um, just because we're not uh, prominent in our social media or on a headline or very visible publicly does not mean that we are not there. Uh, we are definitely doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Uh, we don't want to be the front runners here. Uh, on the contrary, uh, I think the most important message is that the GFA is here. And when I say the GFA, I mean um, that we're doing all this work on behalf of all our members. So all our clubs and uh, all the players and everyone else involved with the GFA. We are here to support. It's been two weeks since domestic football was suspended and with no assurances to when they will restart, it's down to communication and collective support as major governing bodies assess the unknown. The stance that we have taken is that we are working closely with FIFA, with UEFA, uh, with uh, our clubs and with all our members and uh, just waiting to see how we can proceed. Uh, at the end of the day, we are all at the mercy of the COVID-19 virus. We do not know uh, when we can resume, if at all, this season. So uh, we continue to be in discussions with them. It's obviously going to have a huge effect um, across the world on, uh, on, on many issues. And these are all issues that we are discussing. So uh, at the moment, it's a lot of uncertainty, but... Uh, Rest assured that we are keeping close discussions and with, with everyone affected and hopefully um, we will be able to complete uh, the season uh, very soon.